My name is Susan Williams and I'm a historian. I suppose my method of research is like that of a detective, trying to uncover what's been in some cases deliberately concealed, in other cases just has disappeared. Consequently, my research leads to a lot of surprises, which may also change the way in which I'm assuming the story will go. I'm not one of those historians who does all their work and then writes the book. I travel, I speak to people, I go to archives, and then I'll write some chapters. And then I'll have insights, and so I'll do more research. I am fascinated by the period of decolonization when so many nations across the world threw off colonial rule. I spent most of my childhood growing up in Zambia. I think that because of those experiences, I developed a keen awareness of the evils of colonial occupation and exploitation and the damage that has done. One of the extraordinary dimensions of the 1960s is that the injustices that were perpetrated by the neo-colonial powers were understood, certainly in the countries where they took place, yet it was denied. It is absolutely vital to try to set the record straight now, and that is an obligation of justice. If only as a way of ensuring that it never happens again, and if I've been able to unlock the door of those rooms where secrets have been hidden and I've had the opportunity to go in there and open the files and find out what happened, I consider it so valuable. If I can bring readers in with me and also unlock the door for them 